you can tell I'm off work. Honestly, you know, most people sat at home watching TV. Me, well, I'm not keen on TV to be honest. Don't watch it normally for the rest of the year. Um, so today, from Lincoln Green Brewery, it's a Big Ben, and it's a strong mild, uh, ruby mild, six percent, so nice strength. Um, brewed obviously in Hucknall. This. I've just had a quick nosy on the internet. I didn't know nothing about it, so I've not actually seen it before. But uh, for local beer drinkers who go to the Lincoln Green Brewery pubs, this has been at festivals before, probably the Hucknall Festival, and it's certainly been at the bar, but it's never been in bottle form. So that's, a, a, you know, it's great. And it's a great move, in my opinion, that Lincoln Green now are doing, is moving towards bottles. Bottles, mixed cases, one of each with a glass, the way forward. The way forward, not only for now, but forever, really. Good evening. And if you think about all breweries up and down the country, the breweries that are winning are those who are doing mixed cases. Yes, those who are bringing out new beers quite regular. The great thing about this brewery, and a lot of breweries, there's a lot more breweries. I've done that that's four times now, and there are so many reviews, it keeps going offline. I don't know if it's dropping the connection or what. So annoying. But anyway, yeah, I've totally thrown myself now from where I was going. Mm. But yeah, the the thing about putting beer in bottles, it's good because once, you know, people get hold of it, start drinking it. Yeah, I reckon it's just rain. You know, the, the clouds above, it's block, killing the connection. Good evening. But anyway, let's get into it. Big Ben, eh? So this, came, this was on um, Lincoln Green's uh, Facebook page last night. And obviously... I wanted it. Good evening. And uh, so, yeah, 6% strong mild. And is it a thing that milds are coming back into, you know, the mainstream again? Um, Blue Monkey bought that chocolate coconut mild out. Good evening. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there was a time in supermarkets, like the Sainsbury's, they ain't got any milds in Sainsbury's. Whether they have now with some of the craft stuff, not so sure. Not so, not so sure. Get it out at the end. So, and I'm going back to these fellas tomorrow because I missed out on two beers and it's not far away from me. And the wife's paying, so all good. Good evening. How was the stout, the JJ stout? So look at that little beauty. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, Mr. Bancroft. <clears throat> so lovely looking, mild, nice, brownie colour, clear, decent. That's her own bargain, so oof. nice white head on it. 6% good strength. Yeah, and at least it's not, you know, pissing out the top like some beers I've encountered just recently. The weather shit. <laughs> it's absolutely chucking it down. <clears throat> Good evening. Good thing in the beer room. It's nice. I've got the Caligas fire on. And I'm surrounded by a beer. What more could you want? Oh, that's nice. That is nice. So, obviously, if you've seen you, people who go to Lincoln Green pubs in and around Nottingham, this has been at the beer festivals and it has been in the pubs on the, can, on the cask. But uh, yeah, it's been crap, hasn't it? But, I mean, it's supposed to be going cold tomorrow. But it's never been in bottle. So that's a good thing. And they've got some decent bottles at Lincoln Green. So I'm, I mean, I've got a nip there before one o'clock tomorrow because they're shutting for Christmas. So I need, there's two beers I need to get. Sheriff and Little John. Neither have I had in bottle before. So a nice ruby mild, as you could call it. And uh, it's named, apparently, after the boxer, is it Jack Gaunt or something? Jack Gaunt? Can't read this writing. Let me put my little light on. So, yeah, it actually doesn't tell you on here that it's, it was named after. But on the website, it's named after, I think it's, he's a bare-knuckle fighter uh, based in Hucknall. I did read it. I've already, I've already forgot his name. 6%. ABV for a mild. So very good. Ben Cornt. 
Yeah, I did have a look, quick look on the internet, but I've got crap memory. I think a lot of pubs, you know, unless breweries have got people who are very, very good businessmen and very adaptable, very nice as well, very quaffable, very easy drinking. What the that's what Big Ben was named after him. Wow. I want not to tackle him. <sighs> Lovely nuttiness in the aroma. I had a St. Peter's mild a year or so ago. And I won't really didn't really know anything about milds. And I thought, what's this going to be like? It turned out to be an absolute barnstormer. This is very similar to the St. Peter's in taste. Yeah. Not nice. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> St. Peter's, that, that was nice. This also is nice. I need to put my power in. I'm just about to. There, yeah. That's better. There we go. Back on power. I'd have died if it had gone off. Especially halfway through a review. It's so infuriating. Bad enough that the connection keeps dropping. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So they send this away. They brew it at Hucknall and they send it away to be bottled. Because obviously they've, it and they've got their own bottling processes. Trent Bitter and Mild. Trent Bitter. It's not one I know. Obviously, I remember the old Daybrook, the O'Males, Hardy and Anson's, Mansfield. But I suppose we've lost, we've lost always, lost more than that in Nottingham. 25 years ago. Wow. Yeah, I'd be 24 then. So I must, I must have seen it at some stage. Nice, good malty beer, a little bit of nuts, and it's so easy drinking. That 6%, you can feel it, it does give you the wallop in. Um, very quaffable. No wonder they had it at festivals. I bet it went down a treat. <laughs> I feel 55. I've got your picture on the back wall, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> yeah that young <laughs> oh dear. Oh. so Christmas Eve tomorrow lovely can't wait to open my toys uh, presents rather 71 if I'd still been at City Council I'd have felt that way yeah thank god I'm not there <laughs> And looking at the city council's parks, oh, Jesus Christ. There's some really strong wind tonight. It's good thing this shed's uh, pretty damn safe. There's definitely got, I've definitely got quite a few beers for Christmas day. Yeah, you can't fault it. I never actually did see the, the little Belgian pack. Um, I have in the last few years. Bloody hell. Do you know that? And there was a stage years ago where I would probably drink three times a year. Now, well, you have to top up your beer, don't you? You know, keep it going. I mean, I've got for the next review, I'm reviewing this one. The 9% Imperial Porter. So, oh no, yeah, Imperial Irish Coffee Marshmallow Porter. That's going to be interesting. Tiny Rebel. And I am going to do, you know, the black and tan snake bite. I want to do them reviews. Get the right beers or ciders and mix them. That's what I want. That's what I want to review. You know, mix, mix beers. And so you don't, I've not seen anybody doing them sort of reviews. It'd be interesting. Politicians telling the truth. Jesus Christ. Black and tan. You see, I've never had it. So, you know. 
it's uh, it'd be something new for me. I've had plenty of prune juice wine, but that's another story for another day. We don't, we don't want that here today. Brown and mild, wow. There's some obvious, obviously some of you know, know a lot more about beer than I do. Eh? Although to be fair, I don't really go in pubs very often. I had some mates, but I don't really go drinking these days. Tint Meadow Trappist Ale, 7.4%. Oh, bless you. I still haven't been able to get all the sh um, Shipstons not brown. I messaged them, but they, they, they never seem to have it in a bottle. Golden. It's amazing, isn't it? What, what's out there with, with um, beers and what, what do you, you know, they do. Yeah, the them drafts, oh dear, especially that thirteen percenter. That's a tomorrow night job. As long as I don't get the odor, yeah, definitely raggy avenue. Oh my god, certainly up there. Although to be fair, this this is nice. It's a very nice beer going down a tree, lovely and smooth, good strength. You don't mind paying for beers when they are decent. What you don't want to do is pay a tenner for a bottle, drink it, and it tastes absolutely disgusting. I mean, I bought this um, Duchess de, de Begonia. It sounded amazing. And uh, God knows what I paid for it. Probably six quid. Drank it. And it was bloody awful. It was like them parties and brewing ones that I reviewed the other day, where it's like a, there's like a red wine mixed with beer and a sour. And... Uh, I'm the same. I'll drink over it. Do you want some prune juice wine send in to uh, what, Mum? <laughs> yeah, I've dropped you two bottles off. It's the shiznit. The shit's knit. <laughs> oh. So, I that is really nice. Very, very drinkable. Easy going. Yeah, I don't buy that, them stubby bottles either. I need to review some of that stuff from Aldi, but I don't want to buy 10 bottles to drink one, find it's crap, and then bin, bin the other nine. Which is why I tend to buy one bottle of each these days, just to, so I know that I'm not going to buy loads of, and, it, and it's crap. The only problem is, some beers you can't get in singles. You can only get them in fours, which is bloody annoying. I mean, I, I want to review Carlsberg Special Brew, only to say that I've done it. Same as uh, Tenant Super. I want to review it because of just doing the review. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> That's me every fucking day. <clears throat> Pod my French. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I went to bed after the missus last night and I came down the shed and I thought, what shall I have? So I had a nice uh, glass of Cure Cow. L lovely. I miss that bit, something about Boo Dog. Yeah, this is the problem, isn't it? You know, every, all these breweries, they're trying to make a statement with beers. But, you know, if the beer tastes good, it's got good elements of aroma, taste, then you don't really need to go over the top. Stone uh, Brewing, the German-based one, not the limestone in Staffordshire, they do a go-to IPA. I've reviewed it before. And the hops on that are so severe that it is absolutely undrinkable. I would never, ever touch it again. It just It's just way too powerful on the hops. Um, I think it's London Beer Factory. Uh, Ber their Berliner Weisser, again, it's so sour that drank it, it's like flipping egg. And... You know, obviously I got to the end of the bottle, the can. I think it was a can. Yeah, it was a can. And but it was so bloody strong on 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 the taste. And then I had a mulled cider last Christmas, and that's the only beer in a review that I have not drank. I got about halfway down the glass, and I had to bin it because it was, it was rancid. And I, I mean, I've drank better own brew of mine. I mean, I've drank my prune juice wine. And my prune juice wine, I rank higher than that. And that says something, you know. 
Plus it helps you in the other regions as well. But anyway, back to this one. Another good effort from Lincoln Green. If you live near, like me, near these fellas, they've got uh, pubs in Hucknell, City Centre, Arnold. So I go to the one in Arnold, being as it's near me. And some of the stuff they're churning out that's not in bottles is amazing. I pray that they can get it into bottles. And also, more themed beers, Christmassy beers, Halloween beers. You know, it's the thing where people at Halloween, Christmas, Father's Day, Father's Day themed beers. A lot of breweries are missing out, in my opinion, anyway. Not that I know a lot, you know. 49 years old, grey hair, receding. Facts 10%, now that's some decent stuff, that is. Ooh. So, totally enjoyed it. Um, really good, strong, mild. Definitely a hint of nuts. Definitely malty. Lots of other elements. They're good, actually quite a complex, mild. Picking out the taste, not easy. Plus, I'm going off on tangents, and I'm not really taking much notice of the review. But what I can say is, Kestrel Super, I'd like to review that. What I can say is, this is a quality bit of beer. And if you can get yourself over to Hucknall tomorrow before one o'clock, get yourself a bottle. Oh, Goblin's all right. Not as good as it used to be, I don't think, though. No. King Goblin's be way better. At five, for me, 6%. Feels like a 6%, goes down very, very easy. Lovely, smooth beer. Definitely a top-notch beer. Out of five. Oh, it's moved over there. Um, I've got the monkey behind me at the moment, but he's moving as well. He's moving down below. And the um, Totally Brewed's going here because I've got seven days of Totally Brewed reviews coming up. So I'm using this as like a feature thing. Plus everyone says I, keep look, I look like him here. You know, the little monkey, which is very nice. He's a good looking lad, like myself. <clears throat> yeah, I keep I keep changing the time now because someone says to me about the time. <laughs> oh, Crambon Poacher. Lovely, lovely damson beer. Beautiful. So out of five for this review, because I need to kill the review up before I get to 20 minutes. Out of five, for me, a 4.55 out of five. Really nice beer. Well played, Lincoln Green. Very nice. And that's it for this review. Thank you all for watching, commenting, and I do love banter. For those who know me, know I love banter. And uh, back in five minutes with the next review. 9% Tiny Rebel. Jobs are good and cheers.